Hello friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting mathematics. Now, I uh, must make mention of the fact that uh, these lessons are meant for you people that are writing the ACZ exams. Okay? And uh, it has been mentioned that these exams um, will be held in August. That is the GC exams as well as Grade 9 external. Okay? So, if you are preparing for those exams, here is a platform for you that you can utilize to, to prepare yourself. Okay. So in this presentation, we continue dealing with the trigonometry, right? But uh, our interest really is to understand or to see how we can get the area of a non-right angle D triangle, which is very easy. Okay. So if you have had the challenges, we are here to simplify things for you. This is the mathematics clinic. We are trying to cure this problem of mathematics. Okay. Now we are saying... It is a common knowledge, or we know that the area of a right angle triangle is given by this. This is the formula that we have been using from primary school. All right? We say area is equal to half BH, where this is the base of a triangle. So if you have a triangle like, uh, okay, let me use another print paper. If you have a triangle maybe like this, okay? Okay, and that uh, this angle is right angle. All right, you have A, B, C. All right, the distance from there to there it is eight, and the height of the triangle is uh, uh, maybe five. All right, so you are saying say area is half times base times height. So your area will be half times the base is eight, your height is five. Then you should be able to get that. So your area becomes half of this is four by five. So your area becomes uh, 20 uh, square units, uh, square, uh, square units, all right, I hope that is clear, that's how you get that, square units, that's how you're going to get that, okay, that, that is what we've been using, but now I want to see how we can get the area of a triangle which is not a right angle. So we are saying for a non right angle triangle ABC like this one, ABC. We know that if this is B, this is angle B, this side will be denoted by small letter B. If this is angle A, this side will be denoted by small letter A. If this angle is C, this side will be denoted by small letter C. All right. Okay. Now we are saying, suppose we have a situation where we have two sides, uh, maybe AB and uh, CA that are producing an angle here, all right? How do we get the area? We are going to say area is equal to half multiplied by the sine of the angle given. You multiply by the two sides that are producing that angle, all right? Which is B and what? C. I hope that is okay which is B and what? C. So now, let's look at an example here. Okay, let's look, at, let's look at an example. We are saying, find the area of triangle A, B, C below. We have this one. So we are saying, the general formula is that area is equal to half you multiply by sine theta, you multiply by, by the two sides given, okay? In this case, we note that this is C and this is what? Um, B, all right? So you need to multiply this by C by B, okay? So we say area is equal to half. You multiply by sine, what is the angle here? 110 degrees. You multiply it by 20, you multiply this by 15, okay? So, what are we saying? Area is equal to, when we multiply this, what do we get? So, here you need to use a calculator, okay? You need to use a calculator. So, when you, you punch that on a calculator, you get 140 point. Nine five, right? Three eight 
0.9391111, okay? Square kilometers, so we are going to put square kilometers there, okay? But uh, we need to round off this to one decimal, I mean to three significant figures, okay? We round it off to three significant figures. Okay, I was just trying to adjust the the paper there so that it's very clear. Okay, so this is what we, ha uh, we have here. So we have 140.9538931118 square kilometers. We round it off to how many significant figures? Three, because these are not degrees. So say one, two, three, you cut a line or you chop a line here and consider this nine. You consider 9 as 1 because it is greater or equal to 5. Then you add it to this one. So 1 plus 0, you get 1. So you have got 141 one square kilometers. This one is your area. I hope that is clear. So that's how we find the area of um, a 9 right angle D triangle. Okay. So if you have a, tri uh, a triangle like this. Right? P... Q, R, and that um, this is 75 degrees, maybe this is 10 centimeters, and this is 7 centimeters. To get this area, I'm going to say area is half times sine of what? 75 degrees by 10 by 7. You work it out, then you get your area. Is it okay? That's how you get the area of a 9 right angle D triangle. Okay? So now I'm going to give you an exercise which you can uh, attempt. Okay, so that is the question. Find the area of the triangle below. So we have got this triangle M, T, N. The angle here is 92, here, this side is 12, and this side is 13. Okay, that's where we end for this presentation. Thank you so much.